What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. This will probably be the last video I'll be making of the part out series or of the Subi in general. I'm not sure if I'm gonna record the process of me trading it or not even trading it, selling the vehicle to the dealership or whatever I'm gonna end up doing. But now's the time to sell it because everything's up in the world right now. But I got a few offers by some dealerships and I think I'm gonna take advantage of any of them to be honest uh this is one that's pretty local to me they offered me this for my vehicle this is just like an estimate i've they'd never seen the car i just typed in some information um so that's that this is the highest one i've got so far now back in 2017 when i bought my subaru um i paid or the the sticker price on it was twenty three thousand. but i traded my car upside down my previous car yeah so i just got those two offers the nineteen thousand dollar one is by john lee nissan and the twenty one thousand dollar one is carmax and that's about an hour and a half away i'm not sure what i want to do i'm going to try to talk nissan into like twenty thousand i'd be fine with that they've literally been texting me like every week for like a month so they're like super interested in the car so I'm pretty sure I can try to haggle them to 20 if they're already at 19. Because the car has around 50,000 miles. The interior is like brand new. The exterior is a little bit rough because it's all Mitch Match. But that's what we're going to be doing in this video. I'm going to be probably not this today. It's going to be expanded into like multiple days this video. I'm going to get the hood wrapped. I was going to get it painted. But I'm just going to get it wrapped like a 6D carbon fiber. That way it will match with the black trunk or like the DGM trunk. And then today we're going to be painting the front bumper red. So I got to get the gas cap off of the Subi so they can paint match the bumper. And then I don't know how long the bumper is going to take, but it shouldn't take too long. Even if it does take long, no worries because the car's literally been sitting for a year or over a year. Not that I'm saying you don't have it together. I'm sure you do. You're, you're a genius. And you really are. You're a genius. I know. I know. Managed to get the gas cap off. Um, this was kind of a pain to get off, but I finally did it. Now we're going to load up the front bumper into the truck. Luckily, I saved my old grill from my last bumper in the lower piece as well. And um, a few other things like this fog cover. And then we have over here the fog lights and the turn signals, etc. But here's the front bumper that I bought directly from Subaru. I think I paid 320. I went ahead and picked it up. It's about two hours away. Um, I saved this as well from my last bumper, as well as the Subaru Bro plugs. So all that needs to be done is just painted, and then I'll put everything back together. I'm about to scoop up my girlfriend, but before you do that, I need gas really bad. These gas prices are stupid high right now. For, um, if I was to get gas right now, like where I'm at, it'd probably take around $85. <laughs> oh my God, I'm struggling out here. I'll probably throw about $50 in and then call it a day. Ooh. <laughs> Let me see. See what? Let me see. What? Good jaddy. Like... Go put it on, Musty. What? <laughs> Should we got deodorant. What up, girl? High five. Uh, it's been a few days. I dropped the bumper off Friday to get worked on. And today is now Monday, so it took them about three days to finish it. I just got off work, and I'm gonna head that way right now to pick up the bumper, and I'll show you guys the quality when I get it into my hands, of course. All of the makeup body shops that I see on the internet, like the entrance to get in is all trash. Like every video I see, like no matter what location, the entrance is trash. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna try to bust a U-turn and try to back in because it's really tight. Once I pull in the lot, it's like really tight. There's no room for me to park or anything like that. It's very, very tight. I put the gas cap back on the Subi already. The paint match is literally spot on. Returned everything back, the tow cover and the plugs. Like everything is A1. If you see like white little smudges, it's like dust from the shop. But literally no imperfections, no overspray. And it's only $250. It's way later. Uh, I forgot to mention I'm not going to throw on this bumper on the car because I got to put all these pieces on the front bumper and besides all of that that I got to put on the bumper, I want to wash and polish the car um, without this bumper on. I don't want to mess this up or wash it while it's all fresh. So I'm going to give it time to cure. I might start putting a few things on tonight. And then I'll finish once it's in the daytime and I have some free time. Passenger side fog cover. This is the side that I hit the raccoon with and I lost this piece along with the raccoon. So I ordered another one from Subaru. Um, I don't know if there's a part number on here. I don't think so. Oh, here it is. There's the part number for the fog covers. 
This is for a 2016 and up, so it looks a little bit different than the newer models. A little bit of a better lighting view. Um, this is textured, as you guys can see, and it has like the little fake grill insert right there. That was literally all that was in the box, so it's just wrapped up in this inside of the box. But I'm going to go ahead and slap this on to match the passenger side. One of these fog lights or yeah on one of these fog lights i broke the bracket so you, as you guys can see there's only one bracket on this one and there's supposed to be four so i got to figure out how i'm gonna put that on there and then i think the turn signals are good i think these are brand new we're not brand new they're just in good condition because i had some aftermarket ones on the car It just uses clips from the bumper. Um, this one uses clips as well, but I'm missing a couple of screws to hold it actually in place because the clips aren't enough to hold it in place. So I'm gonna have to do the grill another day and um, we'll try to do some of the fog lights and turn circles right now. I gotta figure out where the hardware is for all of that, but I'll keep you guys updated. Here's how she's looking. I got everything worked out. I got screws on the grill, so everything's pretty much how it should be other than this raggedy bracket. The fog light is only held by one screw. Um, we're getting closer and closer. Yo, what up? It's been a while since the last clip. Uh, today is December 1st. December 7th, I don't think I've updated you guys on this yet, but December 7th is the earliest my boy can get my hood wrapped because right now it's white. I'm gonna be doing a 5D or 6D carbon fiber wrap. It looks really realistic. I decided not to paint the hood when I got my bumper painted because it'll just flow all better in the middle of the car since the trunk is DGM from a different color Subaru, obviously. So it'll just flow better with carbon fiber trunk or a carbon fiber hood with the DGM trunk. I resume this video today because I'm here to pick up the battery, the old battery, the dead battery, and the Subaru. And I'm gonna be buying a new one today. I think the price is 119 but with the core charge and tax is it'll end up to be 135 and hopefully when i get back the subaru will run perfectly every time and then this subaru definitely needs like a little one step you guys see how dull the top of the hood or top of the roof is compared to the rest of the car um yeah it definitely needs a one step polish but yeah pretty much the hood and the battery is all i need for this car everything else is little i gotta glue the e-brake back on the stock e-brake and then there's a grind in reverse but i think that's from me installing the shifter stop incorrectly and i didn't align it right battery source is the plug better than AutoZone, advanced auto and all the mother bull crap stores of course they didn't have the cheap battery in stock so i got the other one finally installed and right off the bat i can tell you that it works the lights are on the dude ended up doing $10 off since they didn't have the cheap battery that I wanted. So the total ended up to be like around 142. This isn't the first time I came here. So this dude always hooks me up fat every time I come here. So shout out to Battery Source. If you guys have one around in your area, be sure to check them out before any other auto parts store. They'll have you covered for sure. Now that we have a good battery, I'm gonna let this thing warm up. This gas has been in here forever. So there's the handle that I need to glue back. It's right here. And then the grind is in reverse, but let's see if this baby will crank up. It's been forever. Ooh, I haven't heard that chime in a minute. Let's go ahead. Check engine lights are still there. Starts off off the bat though. So I'm gonna let this warm up. Um, I might use this gas up tonight. It's low key loud a little bit. I heard a little pop cause it's cold. Did this off camera, but we did a one step polish on the car. She's looking all shined up and ready to go for its new owner. There's the roof. No longer oxidized. Finally got this hood back too from the wrap. I literally just came back to pick it up. Um, I'll show you guys in the sunlight, but here's what we're working with. This is dark. We've been working on this thing all day today. This thing is all cleaned up, ready to go. I wish I had the keys to unlock the car, show you the interior, because it's all complete too. This was literally the last piece to the puzzle of this hood. He said this wrap brand is from 3M, but it's like a 5 or 6D. Like I said, I'll show you guys in the sunlight. We're about to throw this on because right now it's just mopped up and the car will be put back together all in one piece. That was literally the last piece of the puzzle. We're gonna throw on this bumper tonight and hopefully it'll all be in one piece tonight. That's the plan. I'm gonna try to do my front first. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Yo, I'm fine. I'm fine. Wait, I don't know. Actually, I don't know if it fits all the way, but I just know it goes on top. Let's see that. Or it's too, too, it's too loose. Huh? Babe, I swear, it was just talking to me just like that other piece, remember? <laughs> white hood carbon fiber hood here it is in the daytime I'm sure you guys just seen that little clip of him wrapping the hood scoop um, in a little time lapse but this wrap is like so realistic like literally look at that and it's a wrap that shit's crazy if I would have knew about this I would have did this route rather than paying $1,400 for the real deal the car is not complete here's the painted bumper and um, the hood is on this bumper is a little bit lighter than the actual car. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera. It looks the same on camera actually, but in person it's way different. I'm sick as shit right now. I'm literally about to drive to the dealership and sell this car. Day before yesterday, I went and drove two hours away to CarMax. This is what they're gonna buy my car for. And that was around two hours away. I ended up not renewing the license or the registration. So I drove two hours for no reason because they weren't able to buy it because the car wasn't um, renewed. I literally drove out there for no reason. So I'm going to sell it to somebody else locally and they're going to buy it. I left this paper in the passenger seat for them to see on purpose. And um, they offered me 21.8. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that because it's local. I don't got to drive far and it's just less stress just in case if something else goes wrong. I'm not far from home. So like it makes more sense for me to do that even though I'm losing $1,000. It is what it is. I don't have to pay another payment on it soon. So my, my next payment is on the 20th and today is the 15th. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it and get rid of it get that payment off my hands and have less bills and be able to save more Last drive with it God baby drive my truck pick me up when we sell it. Will I what? Will you tell him your blue too? So shout out to Zach for letting me borrow his car. Zach's been on the channel before. You guys seen his wagon on the channel when he did the system of the Subaru. That car actually got totaled out today. It just got confirmed. So I'll put Zach's information down below. Just cause just a little shout out. He let me use his car for over a week. I'll also link down below the rap dude. He did an awesome job on my hood. Always good prices time to do it is really quick too I kind of started recording at a bad moment I know it's dark bear with me I'm on the way right now to help Zach out this car is being towed around today I'm gonna help him repair the subs and any other parts that he wants off that car before insurance takes it he swerved uh, miss a deer and it hit a little side thing I guess one of these I'm not sure side wipe the whole car mess it up
Luckily he has this car, this car's pretty fun. I think it's making somewhere around 300, so it feels nice. It feels just like the Subaru, to be honest. Oh shit, that was a big bump. This quick release steering wheel is dope. I'm gonna put a light to it real quick, see if you guys can see. There's like lots of flake to it, it's pretty dope. If you guys can't see me, I might as well show you guys this view. It looks brighter on camera, but in person it's pretty dark. I kind of miss the car scene, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really miss the Subaru. I mean, I do, but then again, I don't. I don't have that payment, but I had fun with it while I had it. Um, while it was stock and all the parts are off, like I didn't miss it one bit. I kind of had second thoughts of keeping it, but that's too much to, to buy everything back or just try to get it to where it kind of looked like before. That's just a lot of money dumping into that car again that I'd have to do. But it all, it all happens for a reason. I learned a bunch of stuff from that car. I met a bunch of people. It was just a good experience while I had it. I got a bunch of dope photos, met a bunch of dope people, got some video shoots done. Like, I can't complain. I've had that car for almost five years, 2017. It's been a good car to me while I had it for the most part. It's crazy, I bought that car almost five years ago and it had 16,000 mileage on it. And when I sold it, after all those five years, I got it to not even 50K yet, it was at 49K. And after all those years, I almost sold it for what I paid for. That's crazy, the car market right now with how the world is right now is just crazy. I bought it for 22 is what the sticker was and I sold it for 21.8 not bad at all for five years of ownership but yeah this is the last video i have with the subaru i gained a bunch of dope subscribers from it i'm almost at or uh, to me i'm almost at a thousand i'm almost at 700 right now but i just i just gained a lot of followers and subscribers off of that car now there's more content for the ss truck i know there's a bunch of followers that that are in the trucks like this truck is badass like it's really sporty got a lot of torque always drives fun as hell just stay tuned i got more ss content on the way i just got to get it back up and running and give it a fuel pump change out hopefully you guys stay tuned just stick around you know i sold the subaru if you go i understand it doesn't really hurt my feelings yeah i'm gonna wrap this up right here i'm gonna hurry up and just drive safe and get to zach but i'll see you guys in the next one no more subaru but it's okay better content on the way thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time